Welcome to this uh, video where I want to see if there's a difference between the auto mode of the Sony default camera app and the Photo Pro app on the Xperia 5 Mark II. So let's get started. The Sony app by default uses an auto mode where you cannot change a lot. In contrast to this, the Photo Pro mode looks like a professional camera and also has most of its features. However, it also has an auto mode. Uh, let's take a look uh, side by side at the photos that I took in auto mode with the Sony app and the Photo Pro app. On the left we have the for the Pro app, on the right we have the Sony app. On the first shot you can see that the Sony app made a little bit better HDR effect. So you can see the sun is a lot smaller and you can see some rays around it. And here it's all overexposed. It looks like one big giant sun. And uh, yeah, we have some light reflections here as well. So what you have to keep in mind, don't shoot against the sun. Uh, let's go to the next uh, photo. And here you can see it's almost indistinguishable if you have like uh, a normal shot and you don't zoom in. If I zoom in a little bit, on both you can see even in this shot it is almost indistinguishable there is however a slight change you can see it is slightly overexposed on the sony cam app and there's a little bit more shadow detail here and a little bit darker in general on the photo pro app but otherwise it is identical the identical shot here shot in the dark almost dark in an elevator and you can see here the same um, doesn't really matter it is using on both it is using in automatic mode a night shot mode where it is having a longer exposure and yeah this leads to those two shots no difference here at all and uh, when we go in here you can see a slight difference here the sony cam app has a little bit darker exposure in general and you can see especially the greens look different on the grass down here it is uh, like this and here it looks like this you can see this has yeah somehow chosen a different focus point because the grass here on the sony app is not in focus here it is in focus and you can see also that the tree here is a bit darker than here so this slightly different focus and I think even exposure point chosen. Then a dark shot again and you can see not much difference. Maybe there's a slight difference in the color here of the red wall but it's like almost invisible. So there's literally no difference here at all. Also dynamic range if you go here in the back you can see not much of a difference at all. One big thing, one big difference is the focus point that you can choose. So there is a difference in focus point that the Sony app chooses by default. You can see that it is not using the center here, it is using really what is closest to it, which is this sign. And here automatically also on the Photo Pro app it has the same uh, focus point, so it shows the same. But this doesn't happen all the time. When it comes to is there a difference between different camera sensors, I'm using the ultra wide in this shot. You can see, no, <laughs> it's you, it it is identical. There is no difference if you're using the ultra wide in Photo Pro on the Sony Cam app. Not even in the slightest I can see any difference here. Um, maybe in the wall a little bit of a color change, a little bit brighter, just like we saw in, earlier in the shot. A little bit brighter, a little bit darker here, uh, but that could be also that the light slightly changed uh, the few seconds that I took those different photos on the Xperia 5 Mark II. Exposure is one thing. Focus point choosing automatically is another thing. Here you can see that from the outside now, without zooming in, it looks pretty much similar. But if we zoom in, you can see that the 
okay, the Photo Pro app decided to focus on this part here, or on this part to be actually completely exact, and the Sony cam here is slightly out of focus because it decided to focus somewhere around here. Slightly more in focus than this, as you can see here. This is out of focus and this is in focus. So there's a different focus point selection in those two applications. And otherwise, if you take shots, not much of a difference. The HDR effect was slightly off on the Photo Pro app here, as you can see. Uh, this is slightly overblown and here on the Sony app it maintained the blue sky and yeah, the, but everything else is exactly the same. There's not much of a difference um, besides that the HDR effect worked a little bit better on the Sony app. Then here we come to focus point selection. Let me go to this one. Okay, this is the default one. And interestingly enough, I found that the Photo Pro app most of the time nails the focus better than the Sony app. When it comes to HDR effect, both pretty good here in this situation, but you can see that the Photo Pro app nailed this because this is what I want to have in focus. And uh, the rest should be blurry. The background should be blurry, as you can see here. On the Sony Cam app, no matter how many shots I took in the automatic mode, it always made this blurry and the rest in the background like this uh, sitting bench um, sharp. So it focused on this. When I manually focused on this to make it sharp, you can see the HDR effect is gone. Because if you apparently manually focus with the Sony app, you have the sliders for exposure and it doesn't use HDR anymore for some strange reason, which I don't get. But you can see now this um, water fountain is, uh, it's not actually a fountain, it's like a, uh, how's it called? I don't even know. You press the button and uh, some water, some drinking water will, uh, not advised to use at all in Corona times, but you can see completely overexposed sky. So this, um, does not work for some reason. If you select a focus point, HDR is turned off on the Sony app, which is not an issue with the camera uh, for the Pro app. Then here, another shot, basically no difference. You have to zoom in again and to see if there's a slight difference in color. I think there is a slight difference in color. This blue is more bluish than this blue here, but this is like so slight and subtle that I would say, um, not much of a difference. The same goes here. There is a slight difference eventually in the sky. You can see that it looks a bit darker here, the clouds than here and here as well. The white balance maybe or the exposure is slightly different. It's a tiny bit um, brighter on the Photo Pro app than on the Sonya, but it's nearly indistinguishable. Uh, focus nailing is working for both. You can see here also slight different. Uh, it was moving, moving subject in this case, and I hit the um, uh, focus point on both. And interestingly enough, in this case, the Sony camera app also made a nice HDR effect, I think. So at least the sky is not overblown. Uh, and uh, yeah, pretty much also nailed to the focus here. You can see this is not in focus. This should be in focus. Is it really in focus? I don't know. Uh, tell me who did it better in this case. I think it's a very hard shot, especially if it's moving in the wind. But I think both did a pretty good job and also with the natural background blur as well. Then here another um, point where you see that there's a change in, or there's a different algorithm used in the Sony app for focusing in general. So if you don't tap to focus, it sometimes just focuses on something that you don't want to focus on. In this um, case, I wanted to focus on this, but you can see this is slightly out of focus if I compare it to this. 
because this one nailed the focus. It automatically detected, okay, the nearest object is probably what you want to focus on. So it was focusing on the first of those tables and here it was focusing on the tab on, a, on the second one apparently or the third one or something like this and this is in focus and here this is out of focus as it should be this is what was the intended effect so the photo pro app has a better slightly better focusing system auto focusing system also you can see it with the little points the dots are much much smaller and more camera like than on the sony app and the rest is basically absolutely almost no difference at all between the Sony app and the Photo Pro app. So these are the last shots. And I think there's almost no difference between the Photo Pro app and the Sony app. The only difference that I would see is like in focusing, the Sony app has sometimes the issue focusing on the right thing and sometimes does weird things like disabling HDR if you tap to focus. So what do you think about the Sony Cam and Photo Pro? Are you surprised that the Sony Cam app mostly can keep up with the Photo Pro app? Do you want Sony to remove the normal Sony Cam app and only concentrate on improving Photo Pro and later maybe Cinema Pro for an easy auto mode? Write down in the comment section what you think. That's everything for this video. Thanks for watching and until the next time. Bye.